Yeah, why you coming at Tispiracy? Hey, everybody. <laughs> that song never gets old, I'm telling you. I like to uh, surprise you with that song every once in a while. And there we go. Well, actually, I saw it in my uh, my creative cloud, it's called, on Adobe, while I was putting together a little something-something for you. And I said, we're going to throw that in there. Why not? And then if you notice my lovely floorboard opener with the neon lights and whatnot, I'm getting real fancy smancy up in here. I've learned a thing or two or three or four. And if there's anybody out there who is in need of a, of a really cool intro, let me know. Because, um, you know, I would like to uh, flex on you guys real quick with my cool intros now. So let me know. Let me know. Mm. All right, so how is everybody? Did I did I miss this? Just saying. Oh, just saying. Hashtag AZ was right. Oh, just saying. Thank you. It was so nice of you. I'm trying to put it on the screen here. Where to go? Where to go? Hashtag AZ was right. I kind of stole that from Uni. <laughs> Remember, he would walk around going, Uni, hashtag Uni was right. <laughs> uh, you know, I think that. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. If you want to say hashtag AZ was right, I appreciate that. But listen, I'm just, I'm that little voice in the back of your head that you want to say out loud, but you can't, right? Well, some of you anyways, most of you don't give a shit, but some of you are like, yeah, I don't think she's pregnant, but I'm not going to say that out loud, you know, because you're good humans or whatever. I'm like, nah, that bitch is lying. <laughs> she's lying. <laughs> you know, um, hashtag AZ is my bestie. You know it. You know it. Don't tell Leon, though, okay? So, yeah, we all knew it. You know what I'm saying? Most of us did anyways. I was just the one who said it out loud, that's all. Couldn't have done it without you, just saying. Kim and I definitely commission an intro. Yo, you guys are my moderators, okay? I still have to fix one for Sherry because she... Yeah, I never fix Sherry's. I gotta fix Sherry's and I'll do one for you guys. We're gonna be the hottest the hottest mods, you know what I mean? The hottest intros. So guys, guys, just like Judge Judy AZ, you you already know. I could never be a judge. I'd be biased at AF, okay? Like, I don't know, like I watched the Amber Heard Donnie Depp trial. <laughs> I would have been like objection to myself, just like lawyer, like uh Amber's lawyer did. You guys see. Amber's lawyer object to his own question <laughs> yesterday. That was hilarious. He look, you could tell he felt so stupid. It was like that secondhand cringe. He was just like dusted it off, kept moving, which is what you're supposed to do, you know. But it was pretty funny. I would have laughed at myself. I'd have been like, whoopsie. And it, it, only only in this trial would that have happened because that's the same dude who has been getting dragged for going hearsay, hearsay, hearsay. Remember, Johnny was like, are these the hearsay papers? <laughs> And it's just funny because Amber's last name is Miss Heard. Miss Heard, hearsay, hearsay, you know what I'm saying? And then we get the guy who's always yelling hearsay. He's objecting to himself now. Like, oh my, what a mess. What a hot mess, right? I can't wait to see Johnny Depp win because there's one thing that I I just, I don't like fake victims, man. Fake victims ruin it for real victims, okay? You J Jussie Smollett's of the world. You Amber Herds of the world, you hogs of the world. You know what I'm saying? 
I know I'm forgetting one of you. Oh, Julie G. Yeah, Chris Farley. Yup. That guy in a little coat. Um, yeah, Amber Turd, exactly. Yo, listen, I've known a lot of crazy biatches in my life, right? Maybe I was one, maybe I still am. I don't know. That's not my point. My point is this. I've never, ever, in all my days, ever known a girl to go, yeah, F him. You know what I did? I got up on his bed and I squatted. Yeah, and I just left a big piece of poop in his bed. <laughs> like, who does that? Who does that? That's some demented, twisted shit right there, right? That's not normal at all. No, 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 no. Can you believe that? They're like, oh, how you know it wasn't your four-pound dog? Ah, uh, gee, I don't know. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. You know what it reminded me of when the lawyer objected to his own question? What did Jim Carrey say in that movie? He was like, um, <laughs> remember Liar, Liar? He's like, objection, your honor. I don't know. What did he say? He said something like stupid. And he, he was he was a horrible lawyer. And it, it was similar to what happened yesterday. It was pretty funny. It reminded me of Laya Laya, right? Thank you, Stacey. Um, I'll definitely hook you guys up. Poodlerific. Hey, Poodlerific. <laughs> Poodlerific. Glad AZ covering this. And I get the sorry, I'm rubbing my right eye at the same time. I my eye just got itchy. My bad. And I get the tea and no views for hogs. Hogs haven't been. Thank you, Pulerific. Hogs have not been uh, nowhere to be found. It's all quiet on the hogs front. Now, let's think about this for a second, you guys. Thank you, by the way, Pulerific. Let's think about this for a second. When the hogs had court dates coming up, they didn't shut their mouths. When they got caught lying about getting locked up and thrown in the slammer, she didn't shut her mouth. When I dragged her all up and down her own stream, she didn't shut her mouth. When Roadhog got caught clicking purple hyperlinks, purple hyperlinks with the nasty, nasty member. <gasps> Yo, isn't it really weird that we're in a um, Ukraine is at war with Russia? Because you remember those purple hyperlinks? It was like drunk Ukrainian girl gets slammed. Remember that, you guys? It was like a mother daughter videos. He got caught watching all the nasty with the purple hyperlinks all up in his search bar. That didn't stop them. Nothing has stopped them. They've been a rolling down the street like a dumpster fire, just flames, flames everywhere, you know, ashes, whatever, just just high speed. You know what I mean? Just going full blast. Nobody's stopping. Nobody can get in their way. They just train wreck extravaganza. But you know what? All of a sudden, they're really quiet. Really, really quiet. Somebody put the brakes on the um the dumpster, er, skr, you know what I mean? Uh, people keep telling me that the channels are gone, but I, when I went and checked, they were still there. You saying they're gone now? Are they really gone, or are people just saying that? Um, yeah, the liar, liar, dumpster fires. <laughs> Allison stole it. I love you. Liar, liar, dumpster fires. Liar, liar, dumpster on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I know the purple hyperlink seemed like a lifetime ago. For real, right? For real. Yeah, they're back together. Like two little weird OPs in a pod. Yeah. Yeah, they're both still up. It's a girl that's just a, a, a rumor, I think, that their channels are gone or whatever. They've been um they've been maybe maybe misinterpreted what I said. They've been hiding their content, they've been cleaning, scrubbing, dubbing, uh, you know their channels, but they won't clean their lives up because they're just, you know, a hot mess. And um, you know, you know, you know, I know, and you know that I know that if the tables were turned, you would be having yourselves an AZ extravaganza marathon day and night, night and day, okay? I'm only here reporting on a story that I have had no choice but to continue on following here to bring you the goods. Well, my people, as we know, as we predicted, the missus is back at the hog household. You know, the pigsty, you know, the pig pen, you know, she's back. She's been back. Do you remember the other day when Roadhog was like, I'm not back with Michelle? Yeah, that was the day she went back. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, this, this happens, right? I'm, I'm not surprised. But I am surprised because when you have children 
who are like little sponges and there's quite a few of them it's not just one not that it matters because one is too many one child in that house is too many child in that house and growing up around that toxicity will literally rot their brains into thinking that this is how people live and it's sad and it makes me really really sad right um you know, I, I'm not going to share about, about the uh, the teenager there. One of the teenagers, we'll just leave it at that, has a TikTok and posting stuff about, like, how this teenager is sad that, that this teenager thought they were going to have a baby sister. And now all of a sudden that's just gone and nobody's answering phone calls for this teenager. It's really, really sad. Okay? It really, it makes you sit back and go, damn, how did we get here, Right? How did it come to this? How did you fools wake up one day, decide to keep this story going, and involve people in your real lives? To boot, right? You were so desperate for some internet grifting coin so you could lay in bed all day, Roadhog, and just be a slobathon, and uh, you didn't want to get up and work because, you know, Michelle told us. And that's what's so bad about this now, right, you guys? Because now all you, you guys done aired out your dirty laundry on each other about how awful you each are. This is, this is where things get rocky in relationships, you guys. You guys have done it before, right? Maybe once or twice in your life. If not, you definitely know someone who has. Yo, F them. They did this. They did that. You know, they're, they're rotten, blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, back together. <laughs> and it's super embarrassing. And if they're your friend, you kind of got to go nod and go, uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Yep. And then you know about uh, the dude's dirty secrets. You gotta sit across from him at the dinner table next time you guys hang out. <laughs> like like your like your friend didn't just drag his ass. You know what I'm saying? So that happens, right? One rub. <laughs> Life is from one rub and tug to the next. Yep, yep. Just cruising down the street in the dumpster fire, flames everywhere. Looking for rub and tugs. You know, looking for coin stars. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyways. You guys are smart, right? You guys are really, really smart. Want to know how all this got figured out, you guys? I gotta shut my key off. It was like seriously freezing out a little while ago. It's it's rainy and cold. Let me. I'm just starting to get sweaty. It's getting hot in here. Hold on one second. Sorry. All right. Okay. Yeah. Exactly, Colleen. You read my mind. If she's back home with him, she better tell food stamps and report his income. Otherwise, it's fraud. Isn't it grand how everything comes full circle? And I swear to God, as God is my witness, strike me dead right now on my child. I do not have food stamps. And he told everybody I did. He's like, oh, you Section A food stamp reporting me for food stamp fraud when I even had food stamps, okay? Um, And now look. Now, look, you told everybody on the Internet that your wife has illegal food stamps and she's been lying and you didn't know about it, even though you're married and you have to show your dual income to even get it. Um, And now here we are. You're back together. You're eating those. You are eating those government Twinkies all day. Don't lie. I know you eat them. They taste better when they're free, don't they? Don't they? They taste better on the tax dollars, don't they? Y'all looking good in the government check tonight. You know, it is what it is, right? (laughs) How do I know? All right, get to the point, AZ. How do you know they're back together, realification says? <laughs> well, I'm going to show you how I know because I'm really, really smart. You ready for this, you guys? All right, here we go. I'm going to put that video back up because that's where that's where it's at. Because you know, you know, your girl, AZ, don't be coming here saying things that aren't true, not being able to back it up. And if I can't, I'll leave the links behind like after be like, oh, I can't get it right now. I'll leave it. You know, I do that. I do that. But no, I have it today. You'll be surprised. OK, I like to call this return of the hog. Oh, yeah. Return of the hog. Like return of the Mac, but return of the hog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm stupid. All right. Hold on. All right. Let's push play here. I'm going to show you what I got. Show you what I'm working with. Yeah. There's this beautiful thing called TikTok. I don't, you girlies, you don't really mess with TikTok. So I'm kind of like, you know, I'm pushing 40 here. I don't really know what these kids be doing these days. But um, a lot of you hawk their TikToks and you know what they do and you know what they say. You know the videos, you know all the moves, right? So on Twitter, on Twitter, I wish I could remember who initially posted this. 
on Twitter. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you, but I forget. But anyway, so somebody posted Mrs. Hogg's video on Twitter, okay? As you can see from the very, very top caption, it says, and I, and I, I cropped it like this because I didn't want to give her username, but it's in there anyway, so yeah, I suck. But it says, feels good to have them beside me again. Now, Lexi Blake, get out of here. Get Lexi Blake out of here. Lexi Blake, you got some nerve, girl. Girl, girl, girl. You're the reason this community is in disarray. You're the reason Roadhog is being Roadhog. You're the reason for all of this. And you are the Amber Heard. You are the Jussie Smollett. Get the F out my chat. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of my chat. Somebody, anybody, bye. Okay, well, where were we? <clears throat> Feels good to have them beside me again. Okay. So, in this video, you know, the intelligent hog plays a little diddly do of her kitty, right? In this little diddly do of her kitty, and I'm not playing the music because it's whack, it's some weird ass song, anyways. But if you would like to, I'd like to draw your attention to exhibit houses behind the kitty, right? You see those windows, you see that circle above the windows. Let me see if I can zoom in better here. Let me see, let me see. Okay. I cropped out their address. There's no street names. I'm not doxing your Camry. Relax, all right? Relax. Nobody's going to know about your Kia. Calm down, okay? Don't be mad, right? You got you, you, you've been asking for this. How long did you come at me with false stuff? I'm here with the real stuff. Stay tuned. Okay, so pay attention to the house, the way it's set up, okay? Pay attention. Oh, pay attention. Oh, I went past a little too quick here. Pay attention to that house right there. That one's got a brown circle above the windows in a brown garage then the house next to it has a green garage right now i'm under the impression that this video is actually a little older than she's letting on because google maps uh tells me it is <laughs> ready now you ready the reason why i'm showing you this this is what she shared the other day okay i had to go to a special year in google maps to match the houses up right but i found it nonetheless i found it I'd like to draw your attention to the next exhibit here. I've been watching too much Johnny Depp try, okay? There are four houses here. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. The house that says 345 right there, that has a dark circle above the windows. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. The 353 house has a brown garage. Is that correct? Yep, that's correct. The next one, 361, has a green garage. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, this is right off of their street, my friends. Indeed. Now, now, I can't see the chat either right now. Sorry. Now, I even put it together. Hold on. So you could see it at once here. I had to take it from this angle. Now, let me explain this angle to you real quick. You're like, easy. Why did you take it from this angle? Why didn't you just stand in the street and take the picture, you dummy? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Because when you stand in the street and you take the picture, things are different colors because you know how google maps uh changes and you know you can look at google maps and be your house's old color and shit you know because it goes from like 2012 at least this one does anyways um so i the only shot i could get with the same cooperating yeah cooperating that's right i use big words the same cooperating colors was from this aerial view right here and if i got in too close then it would only show one house and if i got in too far it will show too many houses. So this is the perfect angle to get collaborating. Uh, I don't even know if that's how you say it, but it sounds good. Collaborating colors to match because, you know, she's in the window with her little kitty. Meow. Um, all right. Let me bring it up here. I'm trying to get that perfect shot. Hold on one second. All right. There we go. All right. See? Two upper windows is like a, I'm, I'm following the shape of my mouse. Hopefully you can see my mouse, right? That's this house, 345, right? That's right out her window, okay? Right out her window, boom, boom. Let's hit play. Oh, hold on, a little too quick there. Oh, I forgot, I learned something new. You could use your arrows on your keyboard, Julie, and anyone else in here that's a creator, Kim Stacy, whoever, Shermar, uh, all y'all. If you use your arrows on your keyboard, it's five seconds. I didn't know that. I just recently learned that. So, where we at here? Oh, went too far there. 
trying to get the colors of the garage. You can tell I don't I don't mess with this Google Maps stuff often because I'm not I'm no professional here. So um right over the kitty's ear right there over yonder, there's a green garage and that's that one. You know what I'm saying? And then let me let me bring you back to the middle one. Hold on. Sorry, I literally just threw this together before it came live. <laughs> All right, yeah, there's the brown one. Hold on, what is this? We're at 130. Yep, brown garage, green garage. There you have it, folks. So not only did she say she's back home with her cats, basically, but that's not even really the good part, you guys. So there's that. I'm wicked smart. Um, those numbers are from Google Maps. It tells you the address. It it really doesn't mean anything to us, you know. Um, I was just using it because it was there as as a hey, it's this one, you know what I mean? But don't you don't need to pay attention to the numbers. That, that ain't nothing, right? But um, so there's that. But do you guys want to know? Do you guys want to know? what the real kicker is do you want to know press one if you want to know what the real kicker is press one if you want to know some more well you get a sip of my drink sorry <laughs> while, while i go get my drink while i go get my drink just because you know this is a freaking great song uh One second, you guys. Remix. Hold on, it's crying. Oh, my teeth, bear with me. Oh, it's crying. Oh, my teeth, bear with me. Oh, it's crying. Oh, my conspiracy. Hold on, it's crying. Oh, my conspiracy. Oh, it's crying. Oh, my conspiracy. Oh, you guys like how I added that echo so it sounds like real entertainment news is in like a, a hallway or a church or, a, you know, see echo. You know what I'm saying? I added that myself. Yeah, I did. I really did. I'm getting proud of myself. I learned how to work Adobe Audition. You can take noises out. You can add noises. Noise, noises. Sorry, I can't talk. You can add noises in. I made him sound like he was in a studio and whatnot. Yep, I got mad skills, but I still am not good at working. Uh, please move the offender from your screen. <laughs> My bad, Ronnie. I know, right? Thank you for reminding me. I'm like, get out of here and then leave her on my screen. Real has some really hot jams, exactly. Uh, thank you for the 199, Ronnie G. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I, I actually really miss his uh, ridiculous songs. I do. I really do. Like, <laughs> remember, the, remember that night he was like, AT2, your mother should have swallowed you. Or was it Rude Hug, your mother? Cause she, but she didn't want that nasty taste in her mouth. He was singing, your mother should have swallowed you, but she didn't want that nasty taste in her mouth. He had some banging song with that um it was so ridiculous but i still catch myself singing that i'd be brushing my teeth and be like your mother should swallow you <laughs> you're developing mad robo cat skills <laughs> i know you guys didn't know i'm bobby now i guess i don't know no offense but no offense but I think my skills, I have been here a little longer than the RoboCat. I think my editing skills, you know, are a little advanced compared to the RoboCat. I don't even have time to be AZ. Imagine if I had time to be a RoboCat. I mean, it's flattering. It's flattering that every time something creative or funny or well-written appears, it's always AZ's fault. And that makes me feel good. So, you know, uh, thanks. <laughs> I'd like to thank... Uh, I'd like to thank God, my mother, my parents for always supporting me because I'm always the one. 
And don't you forget it. All right, Dawn says, AZ, girl, you got to get the Hunt the Killer game subscription. You solve murder cases and boost your investigation skills. Plus, it's a fun time with the family and friends. You know what? I've seen Bailey Sarian um, recommend that, but I didn't know if it was really good. Because you know how people be... Uh, promoting things just to get the almighty dollar right but it i did it from the looks of it the box everything comes in it does look pretty fun yep shout out to hunt the killer so okay easy what, what do you what, what's the deal what were you going to tell us easy right right is that what you're all thinking you sidetrack sally by the way um once i get my camera set up tomorrow right because i got a whole new system here i just got to hook my camera up to it a better one because remember remember on thanksgiving my camera fell over that was funny all right once i do that i'm going to show you my sidetrack sally cup that sue elliott made me it's beautiful i'm going to drink from it sue elliott don't think i forgot about that awesome cup you made me just saying right but guys uh luminacy you never solved the crime really you're pretty smart too if you can't do it i'm gonna be a lost cause so before I get sidetracked, Sally, for the 95th time, um, do you want to know what Mrs. Hogg is telling people? Because <laughs> let's keep it 100, right? The, the the lady was in a shelter. She really was. It went, at the beginning, she was really in a shelter, right? And when you're, like I said on Instagram, when you're spiritually unwell and you're not, you know, advancing... Uh, spiritually and psychologically and you're just kind of digressing and, and not getting nowhere and just you know living the cruddy life you know what I mean um you can end up convincing yourself that you can go back to that toxic relationship that maybe Mr. Hogg really isn't that bad in comparison to a shelter right it's not like these kids that are around have developing brains and you know they're developing their physiological responses to emotional things in life you know it's not like that's happening no big deal right yeah let's just go back let's just go back because you know what freaking how many I, I wish I had the statistics right here in front of me but how many times do people go back to their abuse like something like seven times before they actually separate for good right um and let's face it he needs a babysitter she needs um a place to live you know what I mean like it, it was inevitable I didn't think it would happen this quick but it's inevitable, right? So obviously everybody, not just online, is basically hip to this, but the people around them are too. Apparently, she ain't heard this from me though, okay? Michelle is telling people that... <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good one, Mrs. Hogg. You know, just when I think you can't surpass the level of unexpected crazy uh you come out of left field and you say jeremy gave me the house excuse me roadhog roadhog gave me the house yep that's what she's telling people oh i'm only back there because he gave me the house <laughs> he ain't really living there though <laughs> where's he living huh in his truck let me let, let me guess let me guess he had an awakening moment he woke up not only was he you know, calling you the B word, the C word, and every other word, but all of a sudden he had some kind of a reckoning, awakening moment where he was like, you know what? I'm just going to hand my house over to Michelle because, you know, she doesn't even have a job to pay for it. Um, I'm a bum who doesn't leave bed anyways. It's probably a bed in his truck. You know, like, no, nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. Now, is that what they're telling CPS? Maybe. Could be, right? But CPS ain't stupid. I don't even know if CPS told them they have to separate. I don't know. I have no idea about any of that, right? Um, he just needed a babysitter, probably. He's at the massage parlor. Yo, okay, so the whole massage parlor thing real quick. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Lisa. The whole massage parlor thing real quick is this. Uh, well, is Oh, my God. Freaking Dean's video the other night made me laugh. We should play that after, but because um, it's so funny. But anyways, so everybody was talking about the massage parlor, and even I was joking around about it. But apparently one of you, uh, Lauren, a girl named Lauren, who I talked to in VM, was like, AZ, remember I sent you that screenshot proof of freaking 
of his review at the massage parlor. So anyways, at the rub and tug, he has really left a review under his real email address, by the way, that's been there for a while, I'm pretty sure. So this is like not completely new because I've known about this whole rub and tug thing for a while, but I didn't really take it too seriously. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't realize what kind of place it was. I don't know. But the girl has known about it since we found out about it, but way before we found out about it. You know what I mean? Uh, it really is a rub and tug. Yeah, you can call and you can um, you can ask. <laughs> but Jeremy was like, you could call and ask. <laughs> oh, oh my God. That dude's funny. I want to play it for those of you who didn't see this. Um, oh, you know what I want to play first, though? You know what I want to play first? Boss Hog's boyfriend, because he really loves this video. Do you know that? Hold on. Boss Hog loves this video. He loves it. It's his favorite. He he belly laughed. He was like, oh my god, this guy is so funny. He freaking loved it. All right, where is it? Uh, Boss Hog ex-boyfriend. Is that what it's called? Let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> if you haven't seen this, you're going to laugh. I hope you're going to laugh because I think it's funny. It's really short. It's not that long. Okay. I hope this dude don't mind, even though he kind of ignored me. I asked him to do an interview with me. He still ain't wrote back. He ain't even get a text back in the house. <laughs> hey, guys. Dan here. Um, you know, um, there's been a lot of stuff going on on the internet about a truck driver called Boss Hog. Okay. See, Boss Hog's been talking a lot of crap to my people, Jezebels. I got people everywhere. Um, but Boss Hog, yes, I had an affair with him a year ago. And he's just with his wife to cover the fact that he is a homosexual, which is beautiful. Um, we met at a truck stop. Real quick, let me show you who he is. This is him. And now once I found out he had questionable charges, he wanted me to pretend like I was 14. It's disgusting. But this is Boss Hog. He's so drugged out there. He used to take like tons of Xanax. He'd mix it with like methamphetamine and cough syrup. This is him. That's him. And, you know, got everything else done, came home. Uh oh, what's going on here? I really wasn't worried about the phone today. I kind of just. See, the thing about him is, is that when you look at him, the reason his voice is like that is because he's addicted to crack cocaine and he picks up men at truck stops. So when I met him, I was at a truck stop, just got out of prison. I'm still a shot caller, still a shot caller for the Jezebels. Uh, I don't know. Listen, I watch a lot of like uh, prison gang stuff and like stuff like all this. I never heard of the Jezebels. Is that like a real like gang? I mean, it's funny when he says it, but like, is it a real one or did he just make that up? Right. I don't know. I need to know. All right, let's go on here. My, my favorite part's coming up. And he comes up to me and says, hey, do you know where a coin star is at? And he had a big bag of change, and he smelled na He smelled like cheese, okay? But I don't judge, okay? And he had a big bumper sticker that said, I stand with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, which that's the first thing that attracted to me. Yes, you look at him. He's kind of like a Just, greasy, uh, kind of... Yeah, I smelly tr racist so, truck driver uh, and oh before i forget the reason yes there is people are gonna be saying did i put my hands on him did him get in a fight their truck stop yes just because he all he ever did was say the n-word with a hard r okay he would like try to pull my hold on to my throat and try to call me racial slurs okay so i'm like you're not a progressive boss hog Oh my god, I fell over. You're not a progressive boss hog. <laughs> he was like, you know where there's a coin star? I don't know why I think that's the funniest part of the whole thing. You know where there's a coin star? <laughs> you know that dude be looking for coin stars for shizzle. Okay, you could be with your wife for a cover. Okay, but he's a proud gay man. So here's the thing. Once he asked me to go with him... Um, just to be in the truck with him, go across the, the country with him, okay? And all he did was fart, smoke crack, and, like, literally tailgate African-Americans, okay? So you're disgusting, Boss Hog. Also, 
I'm not saying that he's slow, but look at him right there. Look at that face. Like, it's awful. But let me show you something. Bell decides to text me and go, oh, look, I went down and tried to file one on you, too, and the court said we have court. Um, why she texted me, I have no fucking idea. Um, okay, so, boss hawk, you're disgusting. Um, you've been exposed, okay? He also left a mark on me. He tried to get me to shoot dope with him in his truck. I refused. And he also abuses pit bulls. I love how it ends. He also abuses pit bulls. <laughs> and then it's just over. <laughs> okay, a bunch of you in the chat are asking, what is a coin star? A coin star is uh, a place you can go to. They have them at banks. Sometimes they have them at grocery stores. So what you do is you walk in with your, like, your piggy bank or whatever, your big thing of change. And you dump it in the machine and it sorts it out and it counts it for you. And then um, it gives you a slip with the cash amount on it. And you go to the courtesy booth or wherever and you pick up your cash, right? So a lot of people like in hard times or whatever, I ain't going to say I never done it, right? Shit, it's been a while. But back in my, you know, in my, my cruddy days, I would go up in there and do that. You know what I mean? But don't tell nobody. But listen, that's what people do. They get hard up. They, they hit up their couch change. You know what I mean? You get in between the seats and the vehicle. And then you hit up Coinstar. So, uh... When he, hey, Crispy Treat, when he ever said, uh, he asked for a coin star, I just, I don't know why I thought that was so funny. It's so, so I've never heard anybody say that. I just hope it's so original. All he did was drive around and fart, smoke crack. <laughs> I love this guy <laughs> so much. So anyways, um, Mr. Dan Myers, I don't know, man, he, he definitely um, turned me down. I wanted to uh, have him come on. For a little short interview, I wanted to ask him the hard-hitting journalistic questions like, does Roadhog take his teeth out at the truck stop? That's really all I need to know. But apparently, Mr. Myers, he had charges $40 uh, or something like that. And, you know, he's funny, but not that funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but really, um, he didn't respond, and I feel kind of silly. <clears throat> all right, so... Hack of all trades. One more for you guys. Just because, like, I like to laugh at you guys. You know what I mean? I really do. I like to laugh. Where is hack of all trades? I never use my laptop. I always use my phone. So when I come over here to look for something, I, like, can never find it. Oh, I typed it wrong. <laughs> Usually on my phone, it comes right up. There it is. Okay. Oh, subscribe. All right. So today we're going to be. All right. I hope he doesn't mind. Um, I'm going to put a link in my description. If you're not subscribed to, you know, I'm um, not another housewife. Uh, not another housewife is somebody who is around this community. She makes videos um, about a lot of the stuff, you know, that goes on around here. You probably recognize her. There she is. That's Marissa right there. Not another housewife. Uh, this is her husband. You know, th there's been a lot of controversy about him and what he does and what he whatever. But he's fucking at the end of the day, this shit's funny. All right. I really don't care. So realification. I believe this guy at first, <laughs> but he came out yesterday and said that he had an affair with a guy from the Dad Challenge podcast. That makes me question his credibility. His channel is really strange. You know, realification. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. I think a lot of people actually really did believe him. Um. But he was just, he's just kidding, obviously. Like, he, I think that's what he does. He just makes crazy videos with outlandish claims and does it for people, you know? Um, somebody told me, I don't know how true it is, that he's actually friends with Dean in real life or something, but I don't, I don't know how true that is. But, uh, but yeah, um, he's that, that's realification. Thank you. That's how you know he's good at what he does, right? Cause you actually believed him. <laughs> A lot of people did it. The other night when I was live, people were coming in telling me, yo, there's some gay dude who just made a video about Roadhog, says it's his ex. Like, I could tell they, that there was more than a few people who actually thought it was legit. <laughs> yeah, no, he fooled, he, realification, he fooled a few people. You're not alone, right? You're not alone. He's a parrot. Oh, you do know him? Oh, you know him. Colleen says, Dan is a parody channel, only I actually know him. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he's yeah, getting everyone's cheat. Yeah, but there was more than a few people who literally thought he was legit, and, and that makes me laugh because that obviously means he's good at what he does. <laughs> No wonder why he'd be charging forty dollars a pop, right? All right, the next one here. And by the way, I'm gonna link both of these after, okay? So don't be mad. Don't don't strike me and shit. All right, please. Oh. 
people cup a couple people get up in here real quick. So anyways, Boss Hog here. Just want to come on and clear up a couple of uh, questions. Getting ready to head down and get me a rub and tug and head down to the parlor and get me a, a rub and tug. I just want to address that. And just a lot of people have been sending me these emails and asking a lot of questions. And I just want to address all the questions as best as I can. So let a, people, a couple people get up in here real quick. Okay, so first off, I want to say uh, I found a babysitter. The rug and tug place is going to start watching my baby upstairs, you know, the little one. Thank you, Kim. He posted a video in Dean's truck with Dean in the background about DCP. Oh, okay. That's what people meant. Thank you, Kim. Now it makes sense, right? So for those of you who don't know, um, he is talking about how he has to get a babysitter because that was one of the biggest points of contention with Roadhog. It's like, oh my God, who's going to watch my child? Even though we all know she was in daycare before when he's out here, like acting like he needs daycare money when she probably on government daycare, whatever. But, but listen to what Dean says. <laughs> So he's pretending to be Roadhog. I'm setting this up for you guys if you don't know. Yes, that's face paint. It looks a little weird. Look, you know, looks a little weird. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> but it gets funny. This is not that long either. Uh, which I thought was nice. Uh, there's 10 booths in the rub and tug parlor. And, you know, at any given time, they could be given as many as nine rub and tugs, but there's usually an extra booth. Uh, that's not being occupied, and she can go in there and color. They said she could bring her tablet, but, you know, so that's cool, you know. And the thing is, you know, a lot of people saying, well, Boss Hog, why do you go to Rub and Tug? Here's the thing, I've got a bad back. Okay, here's the thing. For those of y'all that think that truck driving is not a hard job, you're wrong. This is all stuff literally that Roadhog has said. He has made videos about how, you know, I don't like working. I hate sitting in a truck. Makes my ass hurt. He literally said that. I'm not even exaggerating. He literally said driving in a truck makes his ass hurt. I mean, it might, it might, who knows what he's got going on over there. But everything he's saying is literally stuff that Roadhog has really said before. So uh, that Amber Chick for your next rub and tug. Thank you. <laughs> uh Thank you, Amber Chick. I mean, I really am looking forward to it. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up again. Hold on. Okay, here's the thing. Sitting there all day ain't that easy. And here's my thing. My thing is a normal massage for whatever reason, and I don't know why this is, but a normal massage won't help my back. The rub without the tug just doesn't help my back. Here's the thing. Michelle could never understand that. Here's the thing. Because she's like, why? Well, how come I just can't give you a massage? Okay. The oriental lady down there, her name is Mylene. Okay, first of all, Michelle has always judged me for having a mohawk in my butt crack. Okay, if you was to look at me from behind and I didn't have my pants or undies on, it looks like a mohawk going down the crack of my ass. Okay, here's the thing. You're going to have some dingleberries if you got that much hair going on down there. It's like, a, it's like two mountains squished together with a bunch of hair pinned in the middle. And then it's like, when I walk, it's like two pigs fighting over a milk dud. You're going to get some dingleberries, okay? Here's the thing. Okay, my thing is, my ling down at the parlor doesn't judge me for that, okay? 
she's accepted it and here's the thing she's only ever said something about it once and that was yesterday she asked me why i didn't shower before i come in i said i said my lane here's the thing i've got a mohawk back there and when you reach the size that i'm at you can't reach all the way around in the shower i can't even reach it so here's the thing my lane if you could shampoo my butt crack mohawk for me after my rub and tug, I'll throw you an extra five or ten dollars. You know, and here's the thing. She said to me, my lane said to me, five and ten dollars, not enough for that. I need more like, you know, seventy-five, eighty-five dollars. I said, my lane, here's the thing. I said, that's fine. Okay. I make good money as a truck driver. If you will do me a favor and babysit my child or let her sit in one of these rub and tug booths so I can get back to work. I said, here's the thing. I'll be here every day to pick her up and I've already got to come here to get a rub and tug. Can I just say the fact that he says here's the thing <laughs> is so real life it's not even funny because that's exactly what goes on in the roadhog stream here's the thing he puts his hand out when he's on video here's the thing uh leon says looks like he's been rubbing his face in amber heard's bed hashtag easy was right leon <laughs> he's definitely been rubbing his face in uh poor johnny's bed there the amber special <laughs> thanks leon <laughs> all right let's finish it and here's the thing if y'all ever need that 10th booth just have her go out in the lobby and straighten up the magazines or something get her a company shirt or something i don't know okay but here's the thing here's the thing so anyway that's where we're at I'm taking a break from YouTube stepping back even though I'm still here commenting watching stalking and harassing I'm stepping back from the 24 hour lives or sorry they're not 24 hours I won't exaggerate my live streams are usually about three hours every day every day and there's probably about three or four of them a day so I'm stepping back from that level to just regular stalker level because here's the thing there's a lot of players on the field right now okay here's the thing my legal counsel has told me I need to, like, the other day when I sent my legal counsel AZ's damn uh, one hour, one and a half hour live stream. Here's the thing. My lawyer watched the whole live stream. Okay. And my thing is, here's the thing. He said, okay, we've got that in the bank. Okay, here's the thing. My legal counsel literally has like a bank full of all these live streams that AZ does. And here's the thing. My lawyer watches all of AZ's live streams. Okay, I've said this before. Okay. So I'm using all that in the divorce. I realize I can't even pay for Wi-Fi right now. Right? Because I spend so much money at the rub and tugs. But here's the thing. Even though Michelle took all my money, haven't y'all figured out it's kind of weird that I was able to retain legal counsel when she supposedly took every penny, but here's the thing. Okay. Last thing I want to say. Here's the thing. If y'all are going to be over there at Dean's channel, the racist redneck drunk, okay, here's the thing. Just don't even come back to my channel, okay? And with that, I've got to go. I've uh, got an appointment down with my laying at the massage parlor, rub and tug. Oh, poor Marlene. Oh, my God. So funny, though, right? Um, <laughs> this is, I love it. I love it. He docks you on Twitter. Yes, real vacation. Um, Roadhog did dox me on Twitter, but the funny part is <laughs> he's... He, how many, okay, first of all, how many times has he doxxed me? 
quote unquote dox me. It's been like a uh, good five times, right? It's been a good five times. His latest dox, the last one I saw, is a house I've never seen before. Never. It's not even, I don't know where it came from. And he also showed some information that says I'm Hispanic. Do I look Hispanic to you guys? For those of you who have seen me, which is basically all of you, I think, do I, re any resemblance? I gotta, Dean, I can't look at this. See. What does he use on his face? Somebody tell me, by the way. Um, yeah, that's Dean. I'm gonna link these after. Make sure you uh, go subscribe. Tell them AZ sent you. So funny. Um, so, oh, okay, Crispy Treat. Looking forward to it. No, it looks like motor oil. It really does. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh, so yeah, he's. It, it says that I make um, X amount of dollars a year, and I'm Hispanic. And <laughs> yo, like, where you have the bro? You have the worst doxer ever. I thought you already doxed me. You you already really doxed me, and then you come out a couple weeks later with some fake information. Like what? You you. you I really hope that you get that private investigated because you know your Facebook search at. Uh, search uh, bar engine is all you're really good at with the google machine there buddy but anyways um i'm not hispanic i'm actually portuguese and my last name is az starts with the last name from brazil um i don't know where that information came from but you know you know i'd admit it because i've already admitted the lady he passed around is definitely my mom so like why i just don't get it it's it's like it's like me coming out of left field with a different life and being like yeah this it's is well, hugs. hold on my daughter's in here She came in to ask me if the watermelon is ready because we just bought a watermelon like two days ago and she knows I won't cut them if they're not ready to be cut. Really important life questions over here, you guys. Um, yeah. So I wish I could show this photo. A statement. AZ, can we get a statement from you? This is still wild. What? A statement about what? <laughs> about what? I must have missed it. I don't know what the, what you want to stay with on. <laughs> uh, anyways, Doxy, I'm not drunk. Oh, oh, Doxy Morgan's back. No kidding. I knew she. They always come back. They always come back. Yeah, he's getting Spanish mixed up with Hispanic. I'm Portuguese. I don't know, man. Whatever. Whatever. I am. Whatever you say, I am. You know what I mean? Um, it's fine. It is what it is. But you had the right Docs, and now you come out weeks later with the wrong Docs. It, it's like okay. Makes sense, right? Um, didn't she have to go to court over the allegations? I don't know. I don't know. And then I got an email today from somebody. I won't say who it's from, but they're like, and it's not who you guys are going to think it's from because I know this email address, okay? Um, but they're like, oh, can you please send me the screenshots of uh, the child P from Roadhog's thing? I'm like, I don't know where this comes from. I don't know who's saying this or why people are thinking this, but I've never seen them. That was something that um, that Joe Chick said. And then that Pam lady, whoever they are, I don't know, man. They're from the UK unicorns with the, with the child P stuff. I ain't never seen it. You know, they all seen it, but they didn't tell me about it, apparently. Whatever. I, I don't know where this comes from. So to any of you all here who think I'm I'm harboring some, you know, hardcore proof of uh, Roadhog and CP, like, you're sadly mistaken, dude. Like, first of all, if that were the case, I would have turned that shit in ASAP, okay? I would never sit on it. Second of all, I don't know where you're getting your information from, but I've never even seen that. It's just something that came out of left field. Somebody probably just made up. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's real life. I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't know. <laughs> but also, with that being said... This same person emails me and use my government name, my first name. Like, yo, I've been doxxed left and right. Like, if I'm not telling you my real name personally, please don't call me by my real name. Like, it's rude. People in my Instagram calling me by my first name. Like, who, who you guys think you are? We're not on a first name basis like that. Like, I don't appreciate that at all. You know? Uh, yeah, I've already been doxxed. Yeah, my, everybody, my all my information's out there. It doesn't mean you can just start calling me hey smitty <laughs> so yeah uh, dotty's back yeah they always come back that's what we were talking about before i got sidetracked with the watermelons um yeah so that's that she's back now before i uh what i wanted to look into is uh 
I wanted to look into a domestic um, domestic abuse statistics. I wish I got this ready beforehand here because I want to see how many times left she has to go back before she actually really leaves. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, you might feel like, you know, good now because you're out of the shelter and that's good and whatever, whatever. But like, you know, this shit's going to happen again. Right, Michelle? Like, you know that. You know that. Um, and that's the sad part because it's inevitable. Right. And then years from now, when you are away, you're going to look back and be like, what was I thinking? Right. What was I thinking going back there? Should have never done that. Right. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Um, so let's end this with a couple of uh, statistics here. So thank you, Breezy. Breezy says, you do not look Hispanic. And I know what Hispanics look like. <laughs> I know I'm like super white. I have freckles. Like what? Am I albino Hispanic? Baba Espanol. Thank you, Breezy. <laughs> Nose flamingos, Portuguese. All right. That's all I got to say. Anyways, uh, thanks. So <clears throat> an average of 24 people per minute are victims of our violent stock stalking um, by an intimate partner in the United States. You wish uh, more than 12 million women and men and men. Where my Johnny that people at? Justice for Johnny and men all over in the course of 12 million people. Wow. Nearly three in 10 women. 29% and 1 in 10 men have experienced these things. Physical violence, stalking, our word stalk. Um, just under, oh, you know what I want to talk about too? Listen, listen, listen. If we are to take Michelle's word as fact or truth for that matter, if, right? Because we haven't, I haven't seen, other than her telling her doctor and telling the police that she was choked out, we don't really know, right? We don't know. But the fact that he lied about how long he had been live streaming to the cop tells me that he did something shady, okay? Because you don't lie unless you, you know, have a reason to, unless you're pathological and you don't even realize you're doing it because you're just a lie in McLeason, right? But <clears throat> I think he really did do something. At the very least, he knocked her out of that chair. I believe in my heart. I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. But let's say he did choke her out like she says, right? You know, almost always, like, People who, who end up, like, God forbid, right, end up, um, you know, murking their significant other, usually choking them out is what happens before they end up, you know, six feet under. So just saying, people who choke people like that, that that's not a good sign, you know, not that any kind of uh, physical altercations are a good sign, but that's really not a good one. That's really, really a bad one. Um, Really bad. So... Yeah. I don't know, man. It, it sucks to see somebody make a stupid mistake, right? But we, we've, we've seen her make a lot of stupid mistakes. But this one's really stupid. It is. You guys are toxic. You, you just double toxic together. And you got to breed toxic energy for those little kids. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. And what you're doing right now, Michelle, is selfish. It really is. Because you're only thinking about yourself and thinking about the now. You're not thinking about the long-term, you know, effects that's going to that these kids are going to harbor because of your stupidity, you know? And this ain't me just trying to be a hater. Like, this is real life talk right here. Like, I want nothing more than even you. And I don't even like you. I, nobody should have to live with somebody who's that crazy, dude. Like, what we saw from him. And that's just what we saw, right? Can you imagine? And I've said this since day one. Can you imagine what he's like behind closed doors? Go look back. I've said it a million times. I, I've. <laughs> it's obvious to me, right? And that's only what we've seen. And this dude, you guys have all seen it. If you have not seen, if you have the stomach and you have not seen it, it is in my part one of the uh, Demon Hog video. Okay, part one Demon Hog. If the timestamps are in it, there's two instances that are very, very, very terrifying, to be quite honest. Just straight up terrifying where he's like holding her down and just saying, you know, um, it, it reminds me of that Eminem song, right? Where he's like, he's like telling, he's telling Kim that he's going to like drive her off the bridge and kill her or whatever. Like he was like, he was like, uh, till death do us part, bitch. <laughs> like it's creepy shit. Creepy shit. If he's that comfortable doing that stuff to you, he's going to just keep doing it. It's just going to escalate. And that makes me really nervous for you. And, you know, 
he said something to her like wait till next time yeah exactly he did he did meow now i know wait till next time it's disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself and listen uh i know a lot of you are like i always say good people who have good intentions and good hearts and think that people can change because people can change i'm living proof of that right but listen to this um that lady um pat yeah pat that's her name Last live stream I had, everybody was like, yo, go easy on Pat. She's willing to look at the evidence. Pat's willing to hear all sides. Pat's, Pat's listening, blah, blah, blah. Well, I have bad news, my people. Pat don't give an F, okay? Pat really don't give an F. Um, Pat is perfectly okay with everything that Roadhog has said and done. Not to mention, not to mention, Pat went full Jackie Sunshine and she said, if you guys keep doing this stuff, my next hot attack is on you. She said that to Nikki, the ex-moderator. She actually said, my next hot attack is on you, kind of like Jackie with her freaking seizures, you know? That's emotional manipulation right there. Don't let anybody put you in fear of acting how you want to act, saying what you want to say, because there's something that's going to happen to them. That That's manipulation. No wonder why she sits comfortably at the pig table. So, Pat, you know, I asked you to come to the light. Carol Ann, I asked you to come over here, you know, sit with us. But no, you don't want to sit with us because you're nice and cozy. Because you know what? Misery loves company. And it's really sad that, you, that you're, you know, in your golden years over there and you're hanging out with this dude who's nothing but a volatile mess. Like, it makes me wonder what kind of life you've led and, and what kind of, I don't know. I just, whatever. It's just gross. Gross. So, uh, yeah, get off the internet, Pat. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> You gotta go, Pat. But, um, yeah, she's perfectly okay with it. She's perfectly okay with it. You know? I don't know how anyone in their right mind could be perfectly okay with that. I just don't, you know? I don't know if Pat has any kids or if she's got a daughter. I mean, how would you like it if somebody did that to, uh, you know? It's all justified. It's all justified. There's quite a few people who, uh, Actually, let me show you because it's so unbelievable that these people even exist. I do have to get going in a minute, but give me one. I just want to show you one more thing before I go. <clears throat> it's sad that that people really think that this type of stuff is acceptable. <clears throat> oh, where is it? I don't know. Hold on. Where is it? I'm on Twitter right now. Give me one second. Oh, okay. This right here. This shit. All right. Welcome, Earthlings. I just felt like putting that there because it's pretty. Fire up. No, we can't fire up the craft, Leon. One more thing. We can't fire up the craft right now, okay? Give me one second, please, okay? Okay. This shit right here. Is that, is that what you needed? Comfort? There she is with her Taco Tuesday belly trying to manipulate you guys into thinking there was really a baby in there when she knew damn well the whole time. Yes, I welcome people who have left the hogs. There's quite a few people who have been in this chat tonight who were helping them and talking shit about me with them, and they're here. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I do. I'm, I mean, you know, I, I forgive, but I never forget. I never forget. Let's just make that clear. <laughs> but, yeah, I do. I don't want to see people hanging out with those toxic ass people. Why? You know, a month can really. Why? Because I was hunched over. Hmm? Is that is that what you needed? Comfort? You dumb fucking bitch. Do better. No, Michelle. You do better. Literally. <laughs> 
I guarantee you she was probably talking to me too because I was the one being most vocal about it. Oh, there's a shot of her, you know, her uh, Google image baby. Don't want to dox our fetus, you know? Never be. I can't play that on my uh, YouTube channel, but um, yeah, so that's pretty messed up. That's not even what I came here for, though. Hold on. Oh, there's a picture of uh, the Rub and Tug review. There's uh, Jeremy giving the uh, five stars. Fun. Yeah, I bet you have fun. <laughs> hey. Okay, here it is. This is what I wanted to show you. It's kind of small, so I'm going to read this for you before we end this, okay? Daisy French. And I don't care. This whole, like, oh, they're not a creator. You can't talk about them. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to have to, you're just going to have to deal with it on this one because I just don't care because these people are nasty and I don't have any problem with it. And if you're like one of those people who's like, I can't believe she's talking about subscribers. Bleh. These are the same crowd of people who gave out my government name, government links. It told people to report me. So you'll have to excuse me while I don't give any fucks. Okay. So on that note, Daisy French says, AZ is so insensitive. I don't know how people could be so evil. I'm so mad. Now, mind you, this is after what we saw Jeremy do, what we have to saw, after what we saw Rohan do. I'm the evil one, you guys, okay? And then Ashleen Diamond says, oh, no, what has she done now? <laughs> Daisy says to her, she is saying some of the most awful things about Jeremy. It is just so hard to hear them. I never in my life hurt a person so vile as she is. Um, Daisy, are you sure about that? Because I could have swore. Press one in the chat if you think that Roadhog is vile, more vile than me. Press two if I'm more vile. Press one if Roadhog's more vile. Press two if I'm more vile. Let's see what some of the people think, right? Because you uh, you must be smoking the good good, Daisy, because <laughs> you and your uh, three uh, misfits are alone on that one, let me tell you. Then Ashleen says, oh my god, I can't believe people like her are in this world. I wish she would leave Jeremy alone. He's going through so much shit at the moment. He doesn't need this. She's absolutely disgusted. Well, hey, you know what, Ashleen? Just because I don't sit here and tell tell y'all about my problems and I don't cry in front of a camera and I don't ask for penny donations and, and try to sad fish or lie, and none of that does not mean I don't go through shit, Okay. How do you know that last uh, fall when he was coming at me, I wasn't going through shit? You don't know. And that's the thing. You don't know. So have a seat. Have several. Have all the seats. Please, please have all the seats. Just take them all. Okay, have a fucking stadium. Take all the seats, please. Because y'all bitches are stupid. Yep, I said it. I don't care if you're subscribers. I don't care if you don't have a channel. You're stupid. You gave out my government name. I have no fucks. Okay? Sorry, sorry, not sorry. All right. Anyways, you guys, <clears throat> I'm going to leave you with the moral of the story here. Just like every scary movie you've ever seen ever, never go back. Never, never turn around. Never go back. Never. If you're delaying the inevitable, Michelle. And nobody believes you that Jeremy gave you the host out of the kind of kindness of his heart. <laughs> out of his black evil heart. Are you kidding me? Anyways, love you all a long time. Um I'm going to have, oh, by the way, one more thing. I'm going to ha start having a Wednesday show. It's going to be five stories we're going to talk about. None of them are going to have anything to do with any kind of swine-ass creature, okay? I can promise you that. So there's that. So I think I'm going to do it on Wednesdays, but I'm trying to, like, iron out little details because I want to make sure this is good because I need to have, like, a set schedule for this stuff going forward, right? Now that all this is out of the way, because they've deleted almost everything, which leads me to believe they're just going to hide out for a while, which is what they should do. Hang your head in shame, hide out. You know what I mean? They're going to come back and be like, oh, we're back together because love rules all. I right. give you some whack excuse about how they were just kidding. We don't have, uh, you know, Michelle's not a fraud. She's not a criminal with, you know, a fake food stamps. And I didn't say that. Just kidding, you know. <laughs> Y'all supposed to believe it and buy it and go, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know who will believe it and buy it, though? Pat and Ashleen and Daisy French and Jackie and freaking uh, Chronic Space and freaking probably Yaya. I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, I had fun here tonight. Karma is a beautiful thing, okay? I'm just taking advantage of karma. That's it. It ain't my fault, y'all lies. All right. Anyways, love you. Love you guys in the chat. Thank you for showing up time and time again. Smash that like on the way out. Leave me a comment. 
I love you guys. I'll leave those links like I promised as well. Have a good night, everybody.